as an oil. Olive oil stands out as a top contender for its health benefits. Numerous studies have pointed out its positive impact: anti-inflammatory properties, preventing diabetes and obesity. These are just a few of the many health perks of olive oil. But as an oil, what truly sets it apart probably is incredible taste. The fresh and fruity taste with a peppery kick and a hint of bitterness, creating a well-balanced and versatile flavor profile. In the ancient world, olive oil held a revered status. Olive crowns and branches, symbols of purity and peace, were richly offered to powerful figures, marking the olive tree as a secret source of prosperity. Just like Homer, the poet, hailed it as liquid gold. Olive oil wasn't merely a food item; it was a versatile elixir, used as perfume, soap, anointment, and even lighting. Olive oil played a central role in the daily lives of the ancestors. And today, the richness and the versatility of this liquid gold open up a world of culinary possibilities for us, from dressings to cooking, from marinades to oleato. But as the demand for extra virgin olive oil skyrockets, a challenge emerges. The stability of its output doesn't always match the growing demand. Keeping the price of high-quality olive oil consistently high, on the other hand, distinguishing the authentic from the counterfeit becomes a real concern in the market. High-quality olive oil, especially extra virgin, is a prime target for fraud. The extra virgin olive oil we take home from the supermarket might just turn out to be an ordinary olive oil, or worse, not even olive oil. Take a look at these graphs showing the global olive oil consumption and production trends in recent years. As we can see, that the line representing global consumption has been inching slightly above the line of production. Now let's take another look at the powerhouse of olive oil production, Spain. This year, Spain faced a unique set of challenges: a hot and dry spring coupled with a summer marked by heat waves. Created an environment ideal for pest infections. These conditions took a toll on olive crops. According to reports, extra virgin olive oil prices in Jaen, Spain, the world's largest olive oil producing region, soared to 820 euro per hundred kilograms of oil at the end of August in 2023. This is not just a record; it's a seismic shift. Nearly three times higher than the average of the last five years. Spain leads the production of olive oil globally, contributing around 45 percent of the world's olive oil output. There are about four million hectares of olive trees growing on lands of European Union, producing approximately 67 percent of the world's olive oil, primarily in the EU Mediterranean countries. The latest data from the European Commission have revealed a 40% decline in olive oil production among member countries for the 2022-23 crop year compared to the previous year. The consequences of this significant decline are not just the numbers on a the chart; they have tangible effects on the olive oil market. According to reports from EU, the combination of a meager harvest and depleting olive oil stocks could propel prices even higher. While olive trees are known for their resilience, they are well adapted to withstand challenging environmental conditions, making them suitable for regions with hot, arid climates. But recent challenges, including wildfires, scorching summer temperatures, and other extreme weather conditions, have pushed them beyond their limits. Some small Spanish producers are facing an uphill battle, grappling with both nature's fury and rising costs of energy and labor. Beyond the price tag, consumers face a more insidious threat. Olive oil fraud. 
A study published in Elsevier in 2021 analyzed the olive oil fraud cases worldwide from 2016 to 2019, exposing the most common tricks appeared in olive oil markets. One common type of fraud involves the substitution of olive oil with other oils. Instead of getting that pure golden goodness you paid for, your bottle might secretly be a blend of olive oil and other not so fancy vegetable oils like canola, soybean, hazelnut, or sunflower. These fraudulent mixtures often come with additives, such as beta carotene, masking the flavor of the cheaper oils, or copper complex of chlorophyll to copy the color of olive oil. And of course, none of these tricks are spelled on the product labels. In 2017, Greece, where seven people were arrested by the police after an investigation into the adulteration of olive oil, this criminal crew took sunflower oil, slapped on some green dye, and padded it under different brands in Greece and across Europe. The authorities seized five tons of the fake stuff, with another 12 tons ready to hit the road for export. Same year in Denmark, during a quality check on olive oils in supermarkets, out of 35 extra virgin olive oils analyzed, only six lived up to the extra virgin standard. 15 were virgin olive oil, and the remaining 12 were tested to be lampante olive oils. So, what is lampante olive oil? Lampante is the Italian word for lamp oil. These are technically virgin olive oils. But not the good kind. They are produced solely from olives using mechanical or other physical methods, just like the process for virgin or extra virgin olive oil. However, the olive fruits used for lampante olive oil are usually subpar in quality. The process sometimes happens under thermal conditions that don't preserve the oil's quality. It is important to know that this type of oil is not fit for human consumption without further processing, because they are defect oil with off-putting flavor and odor. Usually, can be consumed by human after refining. Without refining, they are usually used for industrial purpose. Another common trick is mixing top-notch oil with lower grades and passing it off as high quality, or sometimes simply slapping on an extra virgin olive oil label. These frauds often mislabel virgin or regular olive oil as extra virgin. One recent case happened in Italy in 2022. Over two million liters of olive oil found not meeting quality standards, but ready to enter the market. Some showed irregularities due to the lower quality of the olive oil, which was falsely labeled as extra virgin, but turned out to be virgin olive oil. Extra virgin olive oil, virgin olive oil. Despite the single word difference, the quality gap between them is substantial. Experts can tell the difference through aroma and taste. The extra virgin oil has a much better quality, with a free fatty acid lower than 0.8 grams per hundred grams of oil, while virgin olive oil allows up to 2 grams per hundred. Normally, healthy plant cells don't have significant levels of free fatty acids. They only show up when the cells get damaged during harvesting, storage, transport, or initial processing. So usually, extra virgin olive oil is made of flawless fresh olive fruits that are well preserved during harvest and transportation. On the other hand, virgin olive oil is usually made of fruits damaged during the picking or being stored for too long time before processing. But both extra virgin and virgin olive oil are obtained directly from olives and solely by mechanical methods, which means they both just a natural olive fruit juice without any human interference in composition. So we can say that the quality difference usually comes from the selection of olive fruits at harvest, or the degree of carefulness during operation. The harvest for high quality olive oil is more like racing. Carefully transported to oil mills, where they are ground and crushed within the day, or preferably within a few hours of harvesting. Temperature is another key. It should be low at the harvest. The high quality could be reached when the temperature of olive around 20 degrees Celsius or lower before processing, and during processing, no heating is allowed for high quality olive oil. So if we say that 
the major differences of extra virgin and virgin olive oil usually come from the quality of olive fruits and the meticulousness of processing, which means that at least they are both obtained naturally. While olive oil, the grid without any descriptive term like virgin or extra virgin, can have significant qualitative differences from those top tier types. Because regular olive oil typically blends virgin olive oils with a refined olive oil, and refined olive oil is a product obtained after the refining of a defective virgin olive oil. For example, Lampante olive oil, as we talked before. Maybe this could remind you of some terminology you've seen on bottle, like pure or refined. These words indicate the refining process these oils have been through. Consequently, the lower grade comparing to virgin or extra virgin olive oil. So why does refining oil tend to lower its quality significantly? Here we need to talk a little bit about the refining process. The process usually involves a few steps, such as alkali refining, bleaching, and the odorization, sometimes accompanied with physical refinement. Alkali refining, or usually called neutralization, is a step where the oil is treated with alkaline substances such as sodium hydroxide. This chemical reacts with free fatty acids, forming soap-like compounds that are easily separated from the oil, which will be removed usually by the means of centrifugation. The separated oil then goes through bleaching to get rid of color-causing substances, which are mainly keratins and chlorophyll. Activated charcoal or other absorbent materials are usually used, and this step often involves the application of heat to remove pigments, waxes, and additional undesired substances. And then, the substances causing unpleasant odor and flavor would be removed, which is a step called deodorization. As most of the targeted compounds are volatile, they are removed by passing the oil by a stream of air at 200 to 250 degrees Celsius. Additional procedures might follow, such as winterizing to remove high melting point triglycerides and filtration to eliminate remaining impurities. These procedures finally will remove all the unpleasant smells, tastes, and colors of lampante oil. As well as many biologically important compounds such as polyphenols, tocopherols, squalene, which means they also remove the good substances responsible for the antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties of high-quality olive oils. The refined olive oil is more like a colorless, odorless, and tasteless vegetable fat. This might explain why refined olive oil alone is not commercialized in the EU market unless it's mixed with virgin or ex-virgin olive oil. Beyond refined or pure, you might have noticed unfiltered on certain bottles. Unlike refined or pure, unfiltered might sound more like a bonus for some people who seek for natural product. Well, all olive oil undergoes some level of filtration to eliminate desirable residue like leaf fragments. The term "unfiltered" doesn't always mean no filtration at all. It usually indicates that the filtration process is deliberately kept to a minimum, which can be seen as one of the most natural olive oil products. These products usually contain tiny particles of olive that could even enhance the flavor of oil. Well, speaking of label, especially in Europe, you might have seen PDO or PGI on olive oil bottles. These quality labels were established by the European Community. PDO stands for Protected Designation of Origin. PGI stands for Protected Geographical Indication. They were established to protect and promote traditional and region-specific agricultural and food products. PDO is more exclusive and region-specific, while PGI is broader in scope and allows for more flexibility in production methods and characteristics. In Europe, there are currently more than 140 PDO and PGI extra virgin olive oils. Italy boasts the highest number with 50 protected names, followed by Spain with 35. The remaining designations are distributed among Greece, France, Portugal, Croatia, Slovenia, and Turkey, 
Interestingly, Turkey is the only non-EU country earning EU geographical designations. These quality labels are designed to protect the geographical names, but sometimes they not only fail to protect these designations, but also harm the reputation of certain olive oil regions. In past years, there have been many reported cases where products labeled with PDO do not originate from the designated regions. Perhaps due to the increasing instances of misuse of geographical indications in recent times, the EU has recently announced its efforts to develop a new regulation aimed at better protecting these names. In the meanwhile, the Union is also actively improving the efficiency of information exchange among its member countries to collaboratively combat food fraud. The North American Olive Oil Association recently has announced its biggest ever olive oil testing study to date. Let's hope that these efforts can seriously cut down on sneaky fake olive oil on the shelves. While authorities are working hard to crack down on counterfeit products, but perhaps a more effective way for us to avoid fraud is to be able to spot genuine olive oil products on the crowded shelves. In this regard. Some producers have taken steps to help us in making informed choices. For example, if you pay attention, you may see QR codes on some olive oil bottles. Some of these codes provide consumers the details about olive provenance, including where the olives were grown, harvest dates, the oil's chemical profile, flavors, and other pertinent information. In 2022. California Olive Ranch, the largest olive oil producer in the United States, has integrated QR codes on its labels on the Global Blend and 100% California brands, providing consumers with traceability. More and more Italian producers have also adopted similar methods to provide traceability for their consumers. The legitimacy of the information is confirmed using the blockchain technology of an external supplier. Data for each step of the process gets encrypted and timestamped, making it tamper-proof and ensuring its authenticity. This means that consumers can confidently track the entire production process, from the olive harvest to the sale of olive oil, without concerns about tampered information.